Hello YouTube. I'm going I'm going to make a video on the process of installing Mac OS 10.4 Tiger on your Mac. So you can see this is a iMac G4, 1 gigahertz and 1 and quarter gigabytes RAM. It right now it's running uh, 10.5.8 Leopard. You can see how. There you go. So anyway, I'm going to install Mac OS 10.4 Tiger on this machine. So uh, I have a CD version which consists of four discs. So um, while the uh, computer is on, and eject and put CD number one in. I uh, kind of did a homemade version. I uh, found a copy of it on the internet. So now what you want to do is uh, focus. Click restart. And while it's booting up, hold down the C key. Now eventually it should, you can, I believe you can uh, let go of the C key now, and it should eventually boot into um, the installation guide. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and wait for it to boot. Alright, now we're back here with the uh, select language screen, so. Um, you choose your language here, as you can see, we're going to use English. Now, from here, um, if you want to just wipe the whole entire drive and have a fresh install of Tiger on here, you don't want to click continue if you have anything on the drive. If it's just a blank uh, drive, then you can go ahead and click continue. But otherwise, you want to go to Utilities and Disk Utility. That sounds really good. And you click your uh, disk up here and click erase. Then here you can name your drive if you want to, but since I'm going to leave Leopard on here, I'm not going to do any of that. And now I'm just going to continue with the installation. There you want to cl click continue. And you can read that if you want to, but. Well, apparently they got some kind of protection, so unfortunately I will have to erase Leopard, but yeah, if you have something below Tiger, you should be able to leave it on, so go ahead and click erase and let it do its thing. There you go, and here if you want to, you can name the drive, but I'm just going to leave it untitled. Alright, so, now it should work. Alright. So, it's going to do its thing, and eventually it'll ask for disk 2, so I'll pause the video until we come up to that point. Alright, now that it has uh, finished here, it is going to ask for you to put in disk 2, so, you simply... Put in disk two. There it is. Then it'll take a second for it to uh, respond here, and then it'll continue. All 
I'll come back when it asks for disc 3. Alright, we're back here. It's uh, asking now for disc 3, so of course you just put in disc 3. And it should continue on without a problem. Just give it a second. There you go. Alright, I will be back once it asks for disc 4. Alright, this should be close to your final step of the installation. And that is to, of course, take out disc 3 and put in disc 4. Focus, there we go. I apologize that the quality's less than great. I'm having to shoot this on my old iPhone as my new one's out of space. So. Should be about done. I'll again pause the video and I'll meet you back up by the welcome screen. Alright, we are back here. It is done, so you should just be able to click close. Focus. I'll give you back your disc. Just gonna sit here and wait for the uh, intro to pop up. There we go. That's enough of that. Okay, so now you should be at the uh, welcome screen here. And you can go and pick your language and fill out the registration form. So this should be straightforward. So I'm going to pause the video again and I'll meet you back at the desktop. Alrighty, I decided to just to show this anyway. Um, just have more in the video. So anyway, select your keyboard. My uh, phone won't stop going out of focus. Hold on a second, I'm going to try to prop up something and hold it straight. Because I am not good at holding anything straight for a long time. There we go, continue. Alright, so now it's going to ask for your airport uh, connection if you have one installed in your machine. And for some reason it doesn't like to work. Um, so if it uh, does not like to work, just click do not connect. So let me try this line in real quick. Yeah, I think it's just something with this uh, uh, Tiger installation disk that I got. So, uh, I'll just hook it up to Ethernet later. So, then, if you're having problems, just like my computer does not connect to the internet. Alright, well, I'm going to pause the video for all of this. So, just asking for your personal information here. First name, last name, where you live, and such, so... I'd rather not have that out there in the public, so I'm going to fill that out and get, get back to the video. Alright, I am back, and I got all the uh, information filled out, so now we're here. Um, I'm just select what you're going to do with this machine, which 
should just be home and other as uh the these machines especially for hunting tiger isn't very useful today leopard you can do a bit more stuff with it I right, put in my password Register later as I don't have an internet connection. Here we are. You can, um, if you get confused, you can just click this around to the area that you live. Which I live in South Carolina. Which, so my time zone to be in Miami. There you go. I'm sorry, I can't hold the camera straight very well. Alrighty. There we go. That is good the way it is, but you might need to adjust it. And it says, don't forget to register and enjoy your Apple computer. So, I will enjoy my Apple computer. So, now, it should load up with our desktop here eventually. There we are. Here's Tiger working on my iMac G4. There we are. Yeah, and I might do a second video of putting Leopard back on this. And, uh, trying to dual boot it so I can run Tiger and Leopard. So, yes, this is and how to install. Well, not how to install, but walk through on installing Tiger on your Mac. Um, I'm not sure how similar of uh, the process it is for a Intel-based Mac, but as most people know, this is a PowerPC. It says right there, PowerPC G4. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please comment, like, and uh, I don't really care if you subscribe or not, because I'm not likely to be popular. Anyway, thank you for your time.